Hey, hey, welcome or welcome back. It is, as always, like I say, good to see you. I hope you all have had a wonderful weekend. It is Sunday today that I am recording. Uh, again, I just turned the fan off. <laughs> so you do see it moving still. Oh, I did get my DC Comics uh, sign hung back up today. Um, I've had a really productive weekend, so I am okay to take this break to watch Amberlynn Reed's new video. And it is titled, I've Been Keeping Things From You, Ozempic Week 1, Health, Etc. Vlog 2. So I did Google what Ozempic was. Um, so I think I know what she's going to be telling us. Uh, maybe some other stuff as well. But yeah, um, it should be interesting to see what she tells us about her health and what she's been keeping from us. She did tell us in her last video that she has some stuff in her life that was going on and she took that week off. So um, while I do know part partially what she's going to tell us because of the title, I don't know possibly everything she's going to tell us. So. Let's hop right on in here and see what our girl has been keeping from us. Should we be surprised by this? No. I just want to jump in real quick here and say that as viewers of her channel, we are not entitled by any means to her personal private medical information. If she does not want to share something, she does not have to. That is her absolute right to not share her personal private medical info. Hello, welcome to a new vloggity vlog. Vloggity vlog. Oh, we got our Amberlynn Reed moment. Oh, she's a little loud for me. I'm gonna turn her okay, down guys. A bit. So, hello. Okay, July 16th. So, about two weeks. Today is the 31st. I'm currently not wearing a bra. Let's normalize that. Okay. It's okay, girl. I never wear a bra. <laughs> I had to, I, I didn't have to, but I wore one when I was in Memphis for work. It was torture every goddamn day. <laughs> hey, we're in the safety of our home, but I decided to put my hair down just in case. Before Triggered, speaking of Triggered, I have officially started a little life. There's over 700 pages. I'm probably going to skip this. She's talking about the book. Unless this is all she says about it, I'll leave that in. But if she's talking about the book and the plot and her little horrible synopsis that she gives of books... I'm going to skip it because she's one of those people that doesn't know how to tell a story or a synopsis of something without giving away the ending. But what makes it even better? I got a damn Kindle. Remember my last vlog? I was like, I need a Kindle. I got the really tiny one and it's white. Um, I love it. Oh, it's so cute. So I actually started this <clears throat> on my Kindle and I... <laughs> That big old book was just too heavy to lug around in her purse. Got to page. Do 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 do. I'm really I'm thirsty. I'm like, sorry. Used to using this. I'm on page 26, but I have started it. Oh god! So that's all you need to know because nothing that interesting has like happened. Um, probably leave this in then. Spoiler alert! I guess or one not. of them has like really bad legs. <laughs> relatable so yeah anyways what i'm about to do oh i also got a new um what call it memory card but i haven't put it in here so definitely need to do that because this is already glitched i'm just like genuinely hoping that it's not the camera that's broken because oh yeah I'm that would suck spend eight hundred dollars on the camera right now like i'm good Ooh. so what i'm about to do i got this container for this like drawer situation I have next to my desk that I keep like my journals in, books, just important things that I use kind of on the daily and I was going to use this for like, you know, my pens and things like that. When I tell you it's literally only like a centimeter or two too big, you think I was being pumped. Like That's the worst. I bought a little basket to put underneath the monitor shelf on my desk and it's just a smidge too high. So I ended up buying a little three drawer little uh, thing and I have my ring light sitting on it <laughs> so that that space is used for something other than just the, um, the little pool drawer thingy. Literally, I was so excited. I was like, that's perfect, but it's too big. So I have to use it for something else. So I've decided because my earrings are not organized at all, 
They're just like in this. So I figured I can organize these. That and seems a little even new here. Mm. I used to run like a whole like small business of um earrings. So small business of earrings, my ass. <laughs> If you're new here, she tried to sell her old grody earrings on, I can't even remember the website, and it was against terms of service of that website. Little small business, my ass. So those are like nothing compared to what I have. Small business lasted about a month. Love that for me, but I used to collect earrings. That are, that's literally nothing. I got rid of... She used to have a shit ton of earrings. I'm sure you all know that are watching this, but oh my god. I mean, I have a lot of some stuff. I mean, as you can see behind me, comic books and Funko Pops, but man. 98% of my earrings. So, I kind of want to organize it and put them in here. It's just when you have this many yeah, earrings, you don't know how do to it, like, keep them organized or anything like that. So... Let's do it. Okay, so before I start my don't they make like um like wire racks for that sort of thing? I don't know. I don't have pierced ear. Oh, like you can see my ears, I have headphones on, but I don't have pierced ears. <laughs> well, I used to have a piercing up here, um, in the cartilage, but I had to take it out for my gallbladder surgery, and I just didn't put it back in because it was too difficult for me to do on my own and for some reason I didn't ask my girlfriend at the time to help me do it I don't know I'm, I'm weird about asking people for help on things my earrings I think this is my memory card it is yeah. I saw the same disc so I got the 128 gigabyte the one I use now is only 56 mm. I think and I've had it four years so I think it's time for new ones so hopefully this one treats me well so obviously, first things first, I'm going to take off this little sticker. Okay, that did not go as planned. Why? Oh, I have a 400 gig. There if... Oh, uh, okay. Never mind. Customers are not all... You know, girl, I hate stickers on shit, too. It can be hard to get them off of things. And it just... Yeah, I, I understand they need to be there sometimes. But, you know... Yeah, sometimes that adhesive is like industrial strength. Always right. Okay, this is just proof. I needed to do it just a little bit slower. Whoopsies. I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, Love that one isn't playing nice. So I have no idea how I'm going to be doing this. Um, what type of vibe, if I want to do like color coordinated or I don't really know. And as I sit here, I don't think this is. All of this jewelry, I don't think this is going to organize them any more than that other can. I mean, yeah, there's some partitions. Is she going to do it by color? Or... I don't know how this is going to be much. I mean, I. I'll wait to hold judgment until she finishes, because Lord knows, some of my organization isn't the best, but I try. Three. I realize. I don't know who I am as a person. Like, what's my style? What's my vibe? Like, it changes. I have dark green fringe. I have gold snakes, bright pink stuff, pink beaded, which I might. People aren't just one faceted. There are many different sides to people. All of these styles could be your style, depending on your mood, what you're doing, or what you're wearing. I actually get rid of these. I just, I don't know who I am. Like, I think hoops, honestly, are my favorite earring, which you guys... I think, I'm, I'm so sorry. I keep interrupting her. She says she doesn't know who she is, but it's probably because she bounces from relationship to relationship and takes on the interest in everything of the person she's with. She hasn't taken time since she was, what, like 16 years old to just be by herself and single and get to know Amber Lynn and who Amber Lynn is and what Amber Lynn likes. So I find it fascinating that going through this jewelry has made her come to this realization that she doesn't know who she is. And, you know, not that I want her to break up with wifey. Or I'm sorry, her girlfriend. She doesn't want to be called wifey even though she was introduced to us as wifey. 
you can't convince me this is a different girlfriend. Um, she needs to take some time to explore herself and what her interests are and what she likes and who she is. And she's never done that as an adult. You guys will see that because I'm sure I will keep plenty of my hoops. Oh my God, look how tangled. Okay, this is going to be, okay, this is going to be a mess. Okay, you guys, so I have finished. These are the ones that I am getting rid of. Didn't we just see these on sheet? Well, I skipped it for you all, but these like horseshoe shaped ones on Shein. So she's getting rid of all these. Wow, she's really paring down her collection again. And it feels so good. I think I'm just going to give these to Goodwill, honestly. Um, and now here is the completed situation type deal. Okay. My girlfriend also had a container because we both have the same drawers next to our desk. And she said she wasn't going to use it since it doesn't fit and she had no use for it. So she let me use it, which I'm grateful for because I still kept a lot of earrings. We have like danglies, no, um, to, like lot. some tassel type deals, some... I think I notice I say type deals when my brain doesn't want to like cooperate and use actual when you don't know the actual word. But I'm wondering where she's going to store this now or how she's going to store this in the bathroom on the bathroom sink and that closet in the bathroom. Like real words. Here are some studs, uh, my little poofball earrings, which I love. Honestly, I used to have like every single color, but these are the ones that I would use the most. So. We have some gold hoops, my colorful hoops, my plastic earrings. So this actually looks so much better. I don't know if you guys hear the rain. It's like hardcore storming and mm -hmm. my girlfriend and I are living for it. I can okay, hear so the update. rain. This is the first clip that I am doing. Because they're pluviophiles. With my new memory card. So let's see. Is it my memory card or my actual camera? I'm taking bets on memory card. But um, I do have another camera. It's like an actual vlogging camera that Sony made. Sony like made an actual vlogging camera for vloggers, but I don't like it. And for this morning, I used a Canon G7X Mark II, and I heard that Mark III, I don't know why I went like that. I heard that Mark III is actually really bad, and the quality is even worse, which is weird because you'd think that the newer version would be better, but... I have a GoPro. Oh, this is a minute clip, and so far my memory card's doing good, so I think I think we're in good hands now. Good deal. Hello, welcome. So it is the next day. I am currently having No, it's two days later. Because it was the 16th. Now it's the 18th. Unless it was the 17th and I missed it changing. Having a cut up apple that I just cut into fours. This is a caramel premier protein shake in here. This is just yeah. a reusable Starbucks cup. It's actually color changing, so it turns this, I've like, seen really those. pretty orange color. Love that. At uh, the Starbucks. But the actual drink is, like, this off-white tan color. Also drinking me some water. There's a lot that I've been keeping from you guys. Shocker. Um, I don't know. It's, like, some things are stupider than others, but it's, like, I'm kind of open. So it's, like, I feel like I have to, like, tell you guys these things. First one being, I had an emergency tooth removal. I did. Um, it was in Ow. between the What I Ate Today series and the 500 Pound Girl series. Um, so I, long story short, it's like so weird. After I had my hysterectomy two years ago, I don't know what it was, but I was like obsessed with brushing my teeth. I don't know if like mm -hmm. they correlate with one another. I highly doubt it, but I just, I just remember waking up from my hysterectomy, like having this urgency to like feel a toothbrush on my teeth. It was so weird. So for a few months after that, I kind of struggled with brushing my teeth several times a day, uh, like mm -hmm. seven to 10 times a day. Um, and I would just stand there and just be scrubbing my teeth. It's not that I felt like my teeth were dirty. I didn't feel that at all. It's just, I felt like I needed to feel the toothbrush mixed with the feeling of the toothpaste. It was so weird. I don't know. Seems like a really weird sensory issue. I don't know. But yeah, you're going to be, if you brush your teeth that much, you're going to be just getting rid of all the protective enamel on your, uh, on your teeth. But I've ruined my teeth. Um, my teeth sensitivity is 
insane. Um, even just chewing this apple is going to be hard um, because of texture and because of the coldness, because I would do like to keep my apples in the fridge. I think they taste better when they're cold. So by brushing my teeth too much, I don't know what happened, um, but it made one of my teeth up here crack. And I said, excuse mm. me. Um, so my tooth cracked and she said she also grinds her teeth in her sleep. So that could be what caused the crack and maybe the brushing just exacerbated it. I started having this horrible she needs to get a mouth guard. pain. Like it was like all right here. It was so bad. Like I rock back and forth. Um, and then I noticed the tooth next to it was getting discolored. And I was like, cute. Okay. Because I've never had like teeth problems. It's not something that I've really dealt with. Um, I have had a wisdom tooth removed in the past. Obviously, that's super common. I need to chug some of this water. Hold on. So I ended up going to emergency dentist because it got so bad that I just, that I couldn't function. The pain was so bad. I literally, half of my brain was not working. It was actually kind of scary. Man, tooth pain is some of the worst pain in the world. Scary. So they did the x-rays and it turns out it's not the tooth that's chipped that was causing the pain. It's the tooth next to it. I had a horrible abscess. Mm. they said we can't save this tooth <laughs> so it was honestly so traumatizing because like getting a tooth taken out for me is pretty extreme you know that tooth has been with me my whole life when I smile you kind of see oh uh, yeah I have a missing tooth and I don't know if anyone's noticed I don't know if y'all have noticed I don't know I haven't but noticed the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I'm suffering with really bad TMJ I'm still having horrendous pain it's especially right here um but it causes my teeth to hurt causes my head to hurt causes my ear to hurt so I have another dentist appointment for that uh, mm -hmm. it's just like really so I've been taking ibuprofen daily for over a month and it's because the pain was so bad um I can't even explain it to you guys like so bad I'm not a medicine person but I was taking ibuprofen I know how she feels. I used to get gum infections when I was a smoker back where my wisdom teeth were coming in and it was the worst pain. It was so bad and it was worse when you would lay down because it would like clench whenever you were going to sleep and this was like back in my early 20s I had these issues and I only had my wisdom teeth removed about seven years ago six years ago something like that um, but yeah, it is just horrendous pain. I took, but back in my twenties, they gave me, um, uh, not Percocet, but a different, really strong pain medication. I took more than recommended dosage, didn't even touch it. And I was still up and functional. Often daily, twice a day for over a month. And that's not good for you. I know that. So don't I take a lot of that, please. Um, stupid and idiotic of me, 100%. So by doing that, I have now caused myself to get these massive headaches up in my forehead. If it's not one thing, it's another. <laughs> when I tell you. I don't know how taking ibuprofen would cause headaches. If it's not one thing, it's another. This doesn't end here. This doesn't end here. Oh my God. There's like more. There's more. So as you guys know, back to the hysterectomy talk. I had a hysterectomy. After I had the hysterectomy, they done told me, so you're going to have to take estradiol every day for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, cool. So if you guys don't know what that is, it's just one milligram estrogen. of estrogen that I would take daily. And they made it seem like I truly had to take that. So um, I did. And I have been. I've been taking it for... A little two years now but when i get a refill they always do sorry i kind of i couldn't get my mouse on the screen unless you want to go into menopause early i mean she doesn't get a period anymore but it, unless she wants to experience the physical ramifications or side effects of menopause she needs to take the estrogen Ooh three refills, three months, just call it a day. So I don't have to keep getting it like every single month. So every three months I call to get my refill done. And normally it's smooth, it's smooth running. Sometimes there's a little confusion because for some reason they have my old address still. I keep telling them my new address, like it's just a mess, but that's okay. This time someone
someone new answered and um, he was like, we have no information in our system that you take this medicine. And I was like, I've literally taken it for over two years. So don't know what that means. I was like so confused. And he was like, honestly, my expertise is, I don't know why you're taking this. You shouldn't be taking it. And I was like, what? what? Like I freaked out. Okay. Who is this guy that answered the phone? Was it a pharmacist? Or just some dude at, like, Express Scripts. I don't know how she gets her medication filled. But if her gynecologist and the one that did the hysterectomy, the surgeon or whomever, whoever did this, told her to be taking this medication, I would think she should be taking it. And he was like, no, people that have had uterine cancer should not be taking this pill. And I was like, what? You're all. I'll do a little bit of, you know, <laughs> Googling to see what I can find on this. I know it's better than nothing, but it will at least give me some information based, you know, to base what this person's saying on. Office has been having me take this for over two years. Now, all of a sudden, I'm A, out of the system, ma'am, and I shouldn't be taking it. So he was like, you know what? We're going to schedule you for an appointment because this is super important. We need to get. Hmm you know, you've seen, figured out, like, why are you taking this? Because you shouldn't be. And I'm like, I'm just following doctor's orders. So now I'm over here Googling and it's, what I'm oh, do. it's not good. It's not good. Really? Oh my God. People with uterine cancer shouldn't be taking this pill because it could cause other cancers. Really? So I just did a really quick Google here. Just, just a really quick cursor research. And it looks like estradiol can cause um or can increase the risk of endometrial cancer which is what amberlin had since she already had the cancer i don't know so this paper here that i found from 1999 says unopposed estrogen replacement therapy i.e estrogen without progestins increases the risk of endometrial cancer. In this study, we examined the endometrial cancer risk associated with combined estrogen progestin regimens currently in use. Since the safety profiles of these regimens have not been clearly defined. Huh. It looks like she would need to take a progestin with it. What's a progestin? Hmm. Interesting. Well, I don't know. I am not a doctor, uh, but that's interesting that this person that answered the phone said this, and I'm wondering... What her appointment so in a few days i have an appointment oh uh, so that's another thing so i got my dentist scheduled i got my oncologist appointment scheduled so we have that down and i'm just like what is happening like what is actually happening but my next thing i want to say is i did recently have a complete panel done of my blood and everything came back normal yeah you were supposed oh to my do God, that you guys when i tell you i was terrified because like when i had cancer my blood was coming back crazy like I had high platelets my white cell count was super high and like doctors would constantly say oh it's just because you have a UTI because your body was battling something it was battling the cancer turns out it was cancer but everything came back normal everything came back normal I am not pre-diabetic I was terrified of that I don't understand how I'm not because diabetes does run in the family I have a massive sweet tooth I am super morbidly obese so I'm very very grateful that I am not diabetic. Um, I am scared that it is coming for me, but I am trying to do what I can to prevent that. I know that like, I know it doesn't seem like that because I've been a failure of a weight loss moment. I get that, but I have gone as far as dun, dun, dun. today is going to be my second shot of Ozempic. So I have been on Ozempic for a full week. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, it is an injection. It's a diabetic medication. Hold on. I don't have diabetes. <laughs> it has recently been approved in the United States as a weight loss treatment. 
So my doctor wanted me to go on this months ago, but it's very pricey. Um, it's a thousand dollars, about a thousand dollars a month. Very fucking pricey. Just take that out of your Uber Eats budget. And I don't like medicine. And you're telling me I have to give myself a shot once a week. Ugh. But I finally took the plunge. Um, today's Monday. So last Monday, I took the shot. And I was expecting it to work. <laughs> I was expecting to lose. Was you expecting to lose 20 pounds the first day? It's not how it works. My appetite. It did not happen. It's fine. It's totally fine. It's on the 0.25 milligrams, which you do that... Um, for the first four weeks and then you go up to 0.5 and then eventually supposedly you're like doing 2.4 which is like crazy a lot but we're just taking this slowly i will say i did have some symptoms though it's just lack of appetite was not that so something that ozempic does is tmi it slows down stomach pain so it makes you go to the bathroom less and it's true mm-hmm. i have gone poopoos in the kitchen chantelle speaking of chantelle I know there was like a whole lot of drama and I said I wasn't going to speak about this, but I will. What? I, I, I don't know what to say to that. I hope she's joking, but let's, I guess, see what she's going to say about Chantal. Continue to support Chantal. I enjoy her as a person and I will continue watching her. Like she's the one who invented poo-poo's in the kitchen and now I can't stop saying it. (laughs) But um, I I do like Chantal regardless of what has happened between her and I. I will continue to support her as well. Anyways, so. I think she's an awful person. I don't watch her content. I do end up kind of hearing about things that's going on with her, uh, especially if it involves Amber Lynn. But yeah, I don't watch her because just because of the whole, you know, sniffy dust stuff and then the abusive relationship with Nader. Um, I think he is a piece of shit and I refuse to give him any watch time. Oh, back to what I was saying. I have gone to the bathroom less. Um, I have had some uh, gas, if you will. I'm not really a farty person. I'm not. But since I started taking this- <laughs> I'm not really a farty person. <laughs> oh, that's for uh, some reason that just that just tickled my old funny bone. Zempic, I have farted a little bit more than average. I was a little bit bloated for a minute. The first day I took it, there was like a fatigue moment, especially the second day as well. Mm. So it's just like random symptoms like that. But like the whole appetite moment hasn't happened yet. So I do take my second shot today. Have not taken it yet. Oh shit, my camera's about to die. So I'm gonna make this quick. I am like figuring out my life. Oh, and I love Are this. you? My psychiatrist, I don't know what's going on, but I do take Lamictal and Zoloft. Uh, Lamictal for bipolar, Zoloft for anxiety. For some reason, um, they're not answering the phone. I don't know why I put my... Uh, the whole last week, they were not answering the phone, and I was trying to get my refill. So I have not been on my medicine in like five days. I don't like that because I was doing really good with taking it daily, but I have an appointment today. So that's good. We're going to get my medicine going. Y'all, I'm just being open, transparent, honest with you guys. Like, this is my life. Please don't take anything I just told you guys and like twist it why are you getting the refill so close to when you're almost out? Run with it or use it against me because it's not fair because I'm just trying to be open and honest. And this is kind of the stuff that I've been going through. So long story short, I feel like crap. And obviously there's some other little hidden demons that I'm dealing with um, that I will just have to figure out on my own because I don't know if I'm comfortable sharing that. But I'm going to finally eat this apple and drink this, watch some YouTube, edit a video and go to my appointment. Huh. Yeah, when I saw the Ozempic there, I googled it to see what it was, and I saw that it was diabetes medication for type 2 diabetes, and I'm like, the girls finally got the diabetes. But no, apparently it's also been approved as a weight loss medication because it slows the emptying of the stomach. 
which I suppose in turn would make you get hungry less often because your stomach still has food in it. But, huh, that's interesting that she's taking that now as a weight loss medication. And it's interesting that her psychologist or the office of the psychologist was not answering the phone because the psychologist, I believe, unless she's changed and hasn't told us, is part of this eating disorder recovery program. So I find that a little suspect, but maybe Amberlynn is scared off yet another mental health professional. Um, yeah, wow. Yeah, ha having that tooth removed sucks, but she can get an implant eventually if she wants for that. Uh, I know tooth pain is the worst. I, I hope she gets that sorted out. Um, the estrogen uh, medication, that is really interesting. And it'll be interesting to see what her appointment with her oncologist uh, um you know, brings, brings to fruition with that if she's shouldn't be on it or if she should be. And I'm wondering who this person was on the phone that told her she shouldn't be taking it. So I don't know, but wow, that is some craziness. You know, I, you know, might not think that Amberlynn is the best person, but I of course wish her the best for health. You know, I, I don't want to see anybody become sick or, you know, hurt or anything like that. So, wow. What do you guys think of all these revelations? That is, that was quite the, quite the info dump on us there. So, I don't know, man. Well, I am going to probably edit this and then get back to doing some stuff around the house. And until next time, be safe and take care.